In this tutorial in Tidler Pro, we're going to show you how to format not simply an entire paragraph, but letters and lines and individual characters. I'm working with a, an earlier version that's an add-on in my copy of PowerDirector. I've taken the copy and placed it on my uh, number one track. So I'll double click on that to activate the Tidler Pro editor and we'll go ahead and enlarge this screen for recording purposes to make it pretty much match our other screen here and then we're going to go and we'll click on add paragraph uh, so i'm going to do american computers and press enter and the same paragraph and put uh, arizona division this ION. Okay, let's do some changes right away. We're going to take the second paragraph and change the the alignment to right. Then I'm going to go ahead, like we do in most word processors, highlight every character in both words. I'm going to change the font size to Alien League. I'll make it bold and I'm going to make it smaller now, maybe like a nine point. And I'm also going to change the style of it. So we'll go from a white, let's go to a um, very deep blue and click on OK. And we'll give it a, uh, an outline. All of these uh, tasks are in earlier lessons we've covered so far. Give it a white outline and I want to make it a lot thicker than that. OK, so there's my Air American Computers Arizona division. Now let's go ahead and highlight the American Computers line and we'll change the font on this. We'll give this one a gradient. If I click on the top, let's make this a dark blue and uh, we'll take this and move this over and make it the dominant one. I'm going to make it uh, center and lower and then we'll click on the other and we'll make this maybe a lighter blue, maybe something like this. Click on OK and we'll move that carefully with our mouse here. There we go. And we'll put that on the bottom and then we'll give this a uh, an outline. Uh, we don't want red. Let's pick a pretty standard black. And again we're going to make, th I'll make that thicker so it stands out. Alright, that's not too bad. Now we're not done with how we can customize. I'm going to click again and this time I'm going to highlight simply the a in American. With that highlighted, I'm going to drag on the corner, keep the proportions, but change the size of the letter. Maybe something like this. And then with the four headed arrow, I'll move that to the left. I could actually move it to the top. We'll keep it kind of in the middle. And then I'll do a similar thing with the C for computer. I can treat this completely different too. Make it about the same size visually. And now I'm going to move it away from the O. There we go. And now I'm going to move to the N and hit a space, another space. Okay. Now I can even take this letter and change the color. I can change the uh, way in what, what once I highlight it again, I can change the orientation. Uh, I can give it 3D texture. We have another lesson on that. There's virtually no limit to what you can do with each individual letter and each individual word when it comes to customizing your formatting in Tidler Pro. We're going to look at more things you can do beyond what we've covered so far in the next lesson.